one seems to follow, life is hollow. There's nowhere I can hide, a demon trails behind me, and he'll find me. When luck appears to go my way, I'm through with Haiti. I'm trying till I'm dying. The way of fate is strange. Someday my luck will I was told you wouldn't be carrying any passengers for today's stage. Nobody told me, but I'm only a relief man. A regular man took sick. Well, he'll have to take his chances. This is different. I beg your pardon. Have you read your ticket? Of course. But that stage goes to Bancroft. <laughs> I know. I live there. Well, there's no place to live around here. I'll take your bag. Oh, I wouldn't trouble you. Oh, but never a day goes by without trouble for me. Oh, but I don't know you. You'll be forgiven for that. And I'm not in the habit of talking to strangers. And right you are. Watch yourself, Hank. Young fellow, I was driving stage four. You quit milk. Have a good trip, Molly. Oh, wonderful, Hank. Thank you. Uh, oh, Seems like I ought to place you, but I can't. Can I be any help? Where are you from? Well, from almost any place you can get, and sometimes even further. In what capacity? Well, that depends on where I go. No doubt you've got something quite special to offer Bancroft. Depends entirely on Bancroft. I can ask more questions and find out less than you than any man I ever knew. Kind of a natural gift. about me. he says. Give me a gun.
Why, it's Alex. Shut up. Face the coach. Here, a fight for the road. All right, get in. Too bad, Alex. I couldn't help it. It was an accident. Sure it was. Give me a lift. You want to live high, boy. Best horse in the territory. Let me get an open. Oh, this sure beats hustle and stages. They know who you are, Alex. Well, sure, but I'm leaving the country. They'll yeah, catch up with you someday. Well, you know that I'd never tell who you were. You wouldn't want me to take a chance like that, would you, Alex? I'm your friend. I don't have any friends. drive it in. That don't reassure me. You can ride or walk. Personally, I don't care which. Well, I have no family. You better ride up here with me. Good man, then. That ain't Hank. Who's the driver? I don't know. Get shot? In a way, he's inside there. You can read about it in my paper for a nickel. Give me my bag. Thank you. You all right, Molly? Yes, Father. 
You better go on home. I'll send your bags. All right, Father. Goodbye. And good luck to you. My name is Jones. Oh, uh, Ryan. Mike Ryan. Let's hear about it. You don't think you'd recognize this other fellow if you saw him again, huh? I didn't get a look at him. You said he talked some. Not enough to tell from that. That'll be the lazy heart bunch. You take cover. <laughs> Give me that gun, will you? You don't just hand over guns to strangers. Well, look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we sent you word to be off the streets. I got it. Well, get on home then. And make it quick. <laughs> I told you boys not to bring your guns to town. You've been wearing that star so long you think you own this town. You're under arrest. <laughs> you couldn't arrest my grandmother. Throw down those guns. Get down. Take these two to Doc Burns, but don't leave town till you hear from me. They all shoot holes in you, they can't cart. That goes for your friend over there, too. Thanks. Nice shooting. You know any good place to stay in town? Yeah, there's a couple of boarding houses, Mrs. Bennett's and Mrs. Donahue's. Mrs. Donahue? Down at the corner. She keeps it select. Well, I don't look very select, but I know about people named Donahue. <laughs> Mrs. Donahue? That it is. Here I am. Well, I can see that. What then? I'm bringing you good news. I checked the paper, and I haven't got time to stand here and gossip with you, whoever you are. But you have a new boarder. I have all that I want now. Are you sure, Mrs. Donahue? That I am. Well, that's too bad for me. Well, it may or may not be. Good day, sir. Good day, Mrs. Donahue, and honor to the house. Oh, I'm sure you've got the fine talk you have. What's your name? My name is Ryan. <gasps> Bless me, sir. Sure, that's a king's name. Come in. That belongs to the late Mr. Donahue. She never cleaned her suit for him, nor for me either. I must have been pretty dirty. Here's a newspaper I publish. Hmm, you got a want ad column? They're looking for a job, but the Sloan's the place to go. <laughs> but don't give me his irreverence. He remains an enigma to me. Hello, Velvet. Mr. Ryan. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mr. Ryan and I were in that holdup. Oh, you heard about it. Yes. They, uh, they didn't get your pants, did they? They got everything else. Well, that's hard luck. It evens up in the long run. <laughs> mine does. Haven't seen you around, Velvet. I've been up in the mine. How does it look? So-so. Too poor to pay and too rich to quit. Nice meeting you. Here's your suit, Ryan. Mrs. Donahue, may you inherit my money. How long must I wait?
I just want to get my paper. find out yet. That's where I run this place. I'm looking for a job. What kind of a job? Anything with a bark on it. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. Might not be too easy, though, for a stranger, considering what's going on around here. Yeah, I saw by the paper this bandit held up three stages in a row by himself. That takes a lot of nerve. Oh, that's not as hard as you'd think. The sheriff can't be everywhere at once. Maybe he ought to make way for a younger man. About your age, huh? I got troubles of my own, Mr. Clark. Six loses, nine wins. You're doing all right. Don't change my luck. He never loses. That's how I got his name. It's always belted for him. Make your bets. Give me some chips, honey. He calls that music. King wins. You should hear him play the piano. Jack loses. Him? That's enough. Well, you never know, do you? Will you be quiet? Four wins. You never told me you could play. Nine losers. You could have told me. Eight wins. Spell the professor off, honey. I want to hear you. Shut up! And you, why don't you mind your own business? Take it easy. Forget it, will you? Sure. Nine wins. My, my plan's kind of personal with me, that's all. I understand. Oh, Ryan. Will you have a drink? I will when I can buy you one. I'm going out to the place where you were held up in the morning. If you'll come along, I'll have a horse for you and leave from my place. I'll be there. I liked your style with that gun yesterday. Where'd you learn to handle it? Here and there. Hey, this is the place. That's where he threw my gun. <laughs> looks like a stray. Hey, I know that horse. That's Alex's sorrow. Alex, all right. You know, that bandit never killed before that I know of. This was done deliberate, and that's just downright evil. Well, go identify. You know, I've taken pride in keeping this county right. I wanted it to be the kind of a place that people had like to live in. I thought I could quit with that record. Now this devil is loose. Don't you think it's about time you had some help? We'll need Alex's horse. Any room in here? I asked Miss Donahue. It's her barn. <laughs> I've seen that sorrel before. Maybe you knew Alex. That's right, it's Alex's sorrel. Did they catch him? 
Shotgun. Any idea who did it? That partner of his. The way it looked, he didn't even give him a chance. I guess they don't get much odds in that game. He might have given him a chance. Yeah, he might have. How'd you come by that sorrel? I'm going to work for Tom Jones. You're going to be a peace officer? Everybody's got to begin somewhere. You, uh, going after that bandit? He got my money. I'd like a chance to even things up. I know what you mean. Any idea who he is? Oh, if I had, I wouldn't tell anybody. Might get back to the bandit. Yeah, that's right. I understand that they're going to put shotgun guards on all the stages now. He won't find it so easy next time. If he's smart, he better try something else. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mind if I borrow some oats? Yeah, help yourself. Toss me that feed bag, would you? Sure. <laughs> It's my horse. Okay. It's your horse. That's all right, boy. We'll start this job together. Do you solemnly swear to uphold and enforce the laws of the territory and faithfully perform all duties assigned you? I do. It's a mighty big county, Mike. I've got a couple of other deputies up north, but I try to take care of everything around here myself. You can see where that fella stomped the stages. Yeah, well, you can leave him to me. I, uh... I want you to ride the county for a couple of days, Mike. I've been so busy you haven't been able to get out and collect the taxes. Taxes? Oh, I'm not taking this job to collect taxes. Well, that's part of the work. I thought we were both going after this bandit. What's changed your mind? It's personal with me. He stands against my record. I want him for myself. Well, here's your tax list. Because you get 10% of anything you collect, if that's any inducement to you. Well, that's some. I don't know, though. Those ranchers are pretty cute about rustling cattle. Never can tell how many head they should be taxed for. Lazy heart bunch is the worst. Well, for 10%, I'll collect from that bunch. Oh, Father, you're not going to make him a deputy. I've just sworn him in. Do you know anything at all about him? Nobody else does. I don't. I, I don't know who he is or, or where he came from or what he's doing here. A grown man like that doesn't have to roam around the country looking for a job like this. If he does, he can't amount to much. Well, what I do know about him sure suits me. You're the Rosa Kildare. When I get back, we'll be walking together by the light of the moon. Now, what do you think of him? It seems to me you're thinking a good deal more about him than I am. Where's the boss? What do you want him for? I'll explain that to him. Well, that's the hombre that shot you. He's just a show-off. That's sure if I aim to eradicate. Let's eradicate him, too. You want him first? Yeah. And you're next. Let's go, Tex. Get him, get him. Finished? I'm the county deputy, Mr. Withers. How are things with you? Oh, I got no complaints. How about you? Well, you've been accused of stealing cattle. Won't they ever get tired accusing me of that? Yeah, they're about set to try something else. Who is? Mr. Saverkool, for one. Saverkool? Yeah, he's missing about 300 head of cattle. Claims they're on your range. Huh. Well, he'll have to prove it in court. And he favors the shotgun, says it's more final. There's no appeal. Don't let him bluff you. Buckshot's no bluff, Mr. Withers. Well, I'm no battler. What do you suggest? 
Well, maybe I could handle Saber Cool if you'd sign in writing that you own those cattle. I could use it as your affidavit. Well, that don't cost anything. You might as well clear yourself with everyone. I don't want to come way out here again. How many head do you claim to have, all told? Uh, 1,200 head. You mean 600? 1,200. We don't have them of us yet. Shut up. 1,200 head. I'll take your word for it. Just sign right there. There you are. That's all I need. It's a load off my mind. For a while there, I figured I was guilty until, until you made it legal. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll have to collect taxes on 1,200 head. Taxes? But he's only got 600. It says 1,200 here. That'll be $360, Mr. Withers. You're gonna let him treat you like that? There. They should let you keep it. You might mention that to Saber Cool. Yeah. Hey, come to think of it, I don't believe I ever heard of this Saber Cool. Neither did I. Place your bets. Ace wins, six loses. Four wins, eight loses. Like my knife. So it goes. Here you are, boss. You're not leaving, are you? Yeah, I thought I'd go over the Oriental. Maybe change my luck. Coming back? Don't count on it. You're late for work, Rosa. It's 9 45. It's my night off, Mr. Clark. Oh, I forgot that.
Evening, Sheriff. Say, you put in quite a long day. I'm used to it. Well, you run a good town after some I've seen. I try. Go on home. I've got to pick up a sack of oats first. I'm going up the mine in the morning. Good night. Good night, Sheriff. Now, let's not mince any words. Evening. Hello, Tom. Evening. You want to see me? Better come in and sit down, Tom. No time for that. What's on your mind, Mr. Babcock? It's not only my mind. Herb. Tom, I know what this town was like before you took over, and we all know how much it owes you. But there comes a time when we all... What are you trying to say, George? Tom, we want you to resign at once. Resign? With that fellow loose? If you'd been more capable, you'd have got this man before he got my money. Well, now, if you tell me who he is, Mr. Babcock, I'll serve him with a subpoena. This is not a matter for joking. Tom, we've left you to find out who he is. But he's still loose. No, we don't want to be unfair to you, but for the sake of the community, I think you should step down and let someone else take over. We're pretty concerned, Tom, about what may happen next. In fact, we want to be sure that it won't. There's only one thing sure, George. Nobody's going to make me resign. I was elected to this office, and I'm going to hold it until my record is clear. Then we'll send to the express company for a special agent. They'll have the authority to take the matter out of your hands until they recover my money. The company's not concerned with your money, Mr. Babcock. This fellow got some of their money. They'll be glad to send a man to get that. Let me tell you another thing, Tom. You won't get elected again. You agreed to this? Yes. George? We have no other choice, Tom. Could I uh, have a little more time to catch this fellow? A week, maybe? Mr. Babcock? We haven't any time, Tom. Not another week, not another day. I'm not going to beg, gentlemen. All I can say is if I have to quit with this man on my record, I couldn't live in this town any longer. Couldn't even live with myself. You won't have to send for an agent. Why not? What do you want to do, Mr. Ryan? I have no idea of replacing Tom. He's done everything he can. We'll go on as he is, work together. Suits me. I'm not so sure. Ellie? Well, I presume Mr. Ryan here is capable of judging what's best. Tom, you go ahead. I'll have to rely on you, gentlemen, not to spread it around who I am. We're not all fools, I hope I am. Well, we'd better get back to work. Evening. 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 But you could have told me who you were. How'd I know you were on the level yourself? Me and the lazy heart boys, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, dear. 
You shouldn't have waited up. What happened? Nothing, thanks to Mike. Well, I guess I'll uh, turn in. We'll uh, both go over the ground in the morning. You better get some rest yourself. You'll be all right now. Good night to you. Mike. I'm sorry for what I said. I've got a lot more than that to take up with you. But you'll wait. I will? You will. Thought she's a girl. Always ready for company. You don't encourage any. Should I? There must be some easier way to make a living than digging into that hill. I thought so. Watch it. Why don't you hire some help? I've tried it. It's too expensive. Not enough money in it. I didn't say that. I buy and sell claims. I'm working on the deal on this one now. I'll give you some help. Don't bother. All right, don't bother. Where do you want it? In the shack. You and I got something to settle. What do you want? Ten percent. Of what? I got to collect some taxes from you. Oh. How much do I owe in tax? Hundred and ten dollars. Give me a piece of paper and a pencil. I'll give you an order on the bank. Lot clean me out. Thanks, I get 10%. Yeah. Anything else I can do for you? When are you coming to town? Tonight, I guess. I'll buy you a drink. You do that. Jack there. I was only trying to help. Sheriff was looking for you. You saw me last night. I saw you last night, too. When? Ten o'clock. Where were you? Over by the window. You were going into the Oriental. I said I was, didn't I? Sure. But it was ten o'clock. What about it? Took you a long time to cross the street. Do I have to count to you for everything I do? You never have. Of course, you think I'm stupid, giving yourself airs. You're not so smart yourself. Robbed the bank. You won't do that. They'd know for sure then. Maybe I would. You fool. I could have told them any time today. Money? Enough. Those stages, too? What do you want? Lots of things. 
Things will be different with us now. You won't have to keep any secrets from me. Seems I haven't any. Oh, yes, you have. Why didn't you tell me you play the piano? Because it doesn't make any difference to anyone but me. But you must have a reason, and I want to know why. You better tell me. I stopped. But why? Because I wanted to be the best. It takes money for lessons. I didn't have any. You know what it's like to have talent, a lot of talent? I tried to kill mine. But it wouldn't die. I hate it, but sometimes I just gotta play. Let's go away. I'll go anywhere with you. Let's go now. We will when I say so. A new deputy could be trouble. Devil. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Not of anything that's alive. Well, we won't wake the dead, will we? I heard an awful rumpus in the barn. So did I, Miss Donahue. Oh. Glory be, it's Mr. Ryan. The gentleman signed. We don't want no more excuses. We want some back pay. Trouble is, you're all worn out with a long spell of intense inaction. Go rustle some cattle. We done give it up till you get out and rustle some money. Well, what do you think I'm going to the bank for? Well, get gone then. And don't come back without it unless you're suffering uh, for a funeral. We'll see about this. Ah! I tell my share of what he brings back for two bits cash. Dirty. Well, what are we going to do now? Three train get into Soldier Springs. About four o'clock. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of whiskey, too. <laughs> early, but I thought you might be able to help me. Oh, sure. Come on in. Thanks. Just take a minute. I uh, 
Forgot to ask what time Velvet left the cobweb night before last. Mm, Ten o'clock, maybe a little after, because that's when I went upstairs. He went straight over, you say? Oh, sure. I saw him. Yeah, I guess that about finishes that. I... Hey, you haven't got a drink, have you? I kind of peaked this morning. Yeah, I've got another bottle. How long have you been around here now, Rosa? Mm, two years next month. That's longer than most of the girls stay, but I expect you'll be leaving one of these days. Oh, no, I like it here. Wouldn't be on account of velvet, would it? Ah, uh, Tom. He's trying to sell the mine, though. He went up there today. Thanks. Well, that hit the spot. If I think of anything else... I'd appreciate it. Luke Wilson been in today? Not today. When he comes in, I want to talk to him. Anything new? Uh, not a thing. George, did uh, Rosa have any visitors last night? Just the usual, Velvet. He's clean as a whistle. You look here, Sheriff. Fine thing when a man can't stay on his own ranch and keep alive. Your car hands? Yeah. You want to make a complaint? I'm making it right now. Won't be safe till they're all in jail. I'll go right out there. Haven't we got our hands full here? Uh, nothing right now that you can't handle by yourself. Well, do you want to take a deputy along? I've been having to cut those boys down to size for some time. Be back before dark. He wants to show us he's still sheriff. Yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs>
fetch that gun handy. How are we going to get some grub out? Pick up some supplies in Clarksville. Where's that? Right where they built it. Where do you think it'd go? The country to hide out. Telegram for your father. Train held up at Soldier Springs. That lazy heart punch. But father went out to their ranch. Mm, he must have lit out before he got there. Then he ought to be back soon. Well, I better get out there and get the report. Mike, when are you coming back? Tomorrow. You can count on a lot more of this. ¿Qué pasó? Bandido. ¿Quién es? Policía. Send these wires for me, will you? You'll have to hurry. They'll be safe across the border. They're 18 hours ahead of you. Well, they'll have to eat somewhere. Well, they can stop at Clarksville or Pinon. I'd say Clarksville is near the border. We'll send a wire there and stop them. To Clarksville? There's no telegraph up to there. <laughs> That's beyond the call of the angels. Can you tell me a shortcut I could take? There is one. I never heard of it. Who's he? They come down from the hills. Maybe he can put me onto a shortcut. Amigo! ¿Cuál es el camino más corto para Clarksville? Señor, yo voy por otro camino. Pero usted sabe. Yo no tengo caballo. ¿Cuánto es este caballo? Gracias a Dios. You put me on a one. You wouldn't think those cowboys would have treated Tom like that. They must have been devil drunk. A high hanging to them. Four to one if you catch up with them. There'll only be one fight, won't there? Four men wanted for train robbery and murder. Is that so? Can't you see we're getting married, mister? Beg pardon, ma'am. Have you seen any strangers? No, I haven't. Well, they'd have to come here for supplies, wouldn't they? Well, I got some for sale. I must have gone up through Pinion. That's just up the road. They'd have to go one place or the other. They would if they liked to eat. Well, they can't be far ahead of me. A Mexican put me onto a shortcut, an old Indian trail. I need a fresh horse. And I need to get married, mister. Now, just a minute. Horse will cost you $50. Get it. Uh, Slim? If they cut back this way, hold them for me. One of them's got a bandaged hand. I'll be back. Well, I kind of make it a rule to mind my own business. They're worth a $1,000 reward. 
$1,000? Sure is a lot of money. That sure is a lot of money, Judge. Health and long life, dear man. Take reward. <laughs> He's a real smart fella, taking that old Indian trail up here. Come on, I've waited too long already. Sure could use that reward. Yeah, sure could. Oh, let's see now. All right. <clears throat> Join your hands. You know, if he took that shortcut, he could get here ahead of him. Stands to reason he'd come into Clarksville. That's right. They might show up at any time. Let's get the guns. You come here and get married, then do what you want. You go on down to my house and wait. Thousand dollars ain't gonna walk in here every day. I knew something would happen. Nash, go on outside and watch. The rest of you fellas, get out of sight. Now, when they come in here, you wait for me to give you a sign. I'll, uh, I'll reach for something up on the shelves. All right, come on, duck. Stay here, Tex. We want to buy some stuff. Where are you going? Utah? I hear that's quite a ways. Uh, what do you want? Let's start with tobacco. Get your hands up. Put them up. What's this for? We got nothing in this territory. I got a prejudice against murder. We didn't kill nobody. I hear different. All right. Bring them in here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What can I do for you? You've got four men here I want. Who are you? I'm an agent for the express company. Well, uh, let's see your papers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to carry papers. What's in this for you? If you're worried about the reward, I don't take it. I pay it. All right, you can take a look at them. Thanks. What are you doing here? You know him? Sure, I know him. He thinks he does. I was down in Bancroft looking into some stage holdups. Is that right? Maybe. They said he was a mining man. These are the men I want. Uh, what are you going to do with them fellers? There'll be some men by to pick them up. I'm only interested in the money. That's all I'm interested in myself. Where is it? Right here. The uh, company pays a percentage on this, you know. How much? Did you count it? Well, sort of. I make it out to be close to $30,000. Wow, never heard of that much money. You get 5%. <laughs> sure beats running a store. Count out 1500 for yourself. I'll take the rest. Well... I'll uh... give you a receipt for it. Well, for fifteen hundred dollars. Go ahead, count it up. All right. Judge. Huh? Come here. Hey, Nash. Keep your eye on that, huh? Your 
Here comes that sheriff. Yeah. Maybe we better wait for him. That ought to satisfy everybody. Put your hands up. Don't move. I right, get in the back. Close the door after you. Go on, pray. over the border if I do. He's already got a head start on me by shooting my horse. Well, he'll make good time over the Mesa, but Gunside Ridge will slow him down. He'll never let go of that money. I'll put my shadow on him. Say, maybe you could use a little help from us. I'm obliged to, but I have to do this myself. I'm taking the place of a friend. Run up. Put the gun down. We don't get many strangers around here. Anybody else around? No. Where are your folks? They're in town. I want something to eat. I don't care what it is, but I want it now. Are you on the run? Oh, I, I know how you feel. Sometimes I feel like running, too. It isn't much fun living out here. Well, Mama says it'll get better, but I don't know. I wouldn't care if you were on the run. You wouldn't? I'd like to read about outlaws. You know, there was Robin Hood. Yeah, I heard about Robin Hood. And I know a song about Jesse James. It was a coward that killed him. So I've heard. 
You know, I think you're an outlaw. Well, you see, there was a fellow killed back a ways, and they're, they're trying to make out like I did it. If they caught me, they'd hang me up the nearest tree. That way, they'd save their necks. But how many are after you? I didn't know get close enough to find out, but I'm sure about one fellow, he did the killing. Well, where could you go? I thought about Mexico, but I need a fresh horse. Well, you could leave yours here and, and take one of ours. Where are they? Right down the corral. Well, I wouldn't want to go out there. You help yourself to some more coffee. You'll hurry right back. That was wonderful. Oh, please go on, play something else. There isn't enough time. I got your horse. Why don't you make up one to suit yourself? Oh, my, this is heavy. It's everything I need.
Anybody here? You stay right where you are, mister. And don't move. All right, but be careful. I wouldn't want you to shoot yourself. I know how to shoot. Well, I wouldn't want you to shoot me either. Anybody been here ahead of me? No. I'll be getting on then. You've got to stay here. Why? I know who you are. You do? Who am I? I know. What's your name? I don't have to tell you that. Mine's Mike Ryan. Oh. I thought you knew who I was. He said... I didn't know what your name was. How long ago was he here? Who do you mean? That other fellow. I won't tell you anything about him. He told you I was no good, I guess. He said a man was killed. More than one. You don't look like you'd kill anybody. One or the other of us did it, you can see that. If I thought he did it, it'd break my heart. I wouldn't want that to happen. But then I wouldn't want you to think I'd do it either. So I'll bring him back and then you'll know the truth. I don't want to know. It's hard to know right from wrong. But when you're sure, you do what you have to. You'll be glad you did this when you remember. All your life. Honor to the house. You're welcome.
All right, Velvet. If I'd done what I knew was best for your father, he'd be here now. You gave father back his pride. It's all that mattered to him. If he could thank you for it now, I, I know he would. Molly, they've asked me to stay. What have you told him? I haven't told him. I want you to stay. Then I'll tell him. You will? I will. 